हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू मिजो स्टडी वीडियो क्लासेस एंड एज इट इज क्लियर फ्रॉम दिस फर्स्ट स्लाइड व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन दिस पर्टिकुलर क्लास दैट इज जेई एडवांस पैटर्न एक्सरसाइज एंड द टॉपिक इज वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वेब ऑप्टिक्स इफ यू आर रेगुलरली वॉचिंग आर वीडियोज डेफिनेटली यू विल से दिस इज द सेकेंड एपिसोड ऑफ दिस सीरियल फाइन फर्स्ट एपिसोड ऑलरेडी आई होप विद यू यू हैव स्टार्टेड रिविजन ऑफ दोज problems so this second episode again with five questions initially i am telling you and the same approach initial questions simple gradually we'll go for more simple questions okay so let's start this discussion with this positive approach here comes your first question again as you know wave optics uh young's double slit experiment is one of the very important fundamental experiment so that's why i thought to devote some good amount of uh, discussion time on to this experiment so in uh, young's double slit experiment ydse carried out by using three different uh, colors one is green then red then blue and very specifically i mention just to avoid any confusion one color at one time it is not like that all the colors simultaneously the fringe width recorded are beta g g means green beta r means beta for the red color and beta b that is for the uh, blue color so then what is the relation between fringe widths if the wavelength is changed okay i hope this particular question is so simple that anyone can solve it but let me explain you fringe width beta is equal to lambda d by d where symbols have the usual meaning now from this i can say very surely that beta is directly proportional to lambda more the lambda more the beta direct relation now lambda green lambda red lambda blue which one is highest value red that is lambda r maximum Min minimum energy lambda blue minimum and lambda green in between fine so beta red is more than beta green and then beta blue so this is the options d1 is the correct option fine so these type of questions are there just to check your basic understanding of any topic as such these questions are not difficult one fine so if you get these type of questions normal tendency of the students is what the je advanced pattern exam is a very difficult exam so how they can ask this simple question and then you people start arguing a lot and a simple question and negative marking fine so never ever commit this mistake read the question as per its spirit and provide the solution who suggested you if the examination is of uh, toughest pattern then the questions are also only of the toughest pattern don't think like this this is negative approach let's move for the seventh problem and why it is seventh problem you know this is the second episode of that previous serial fine again y d s e if i am emphasizing on this experiment it means what one minimum one question you will definitely get it from this topic just few days back it was like a, a neat entrance exam and there were three questions four questions rather from optics one polarization one young's double slit experiment and two from ray optics fine so imagine the situation whatever again and again i am telling you and if you are regularly watching a mizo study videos definitely you will get a lot of benefit from that so in young's double slit experiment intensity at a point is 1 by 4 of the maximum intensity what is the angular position of this point fine so yes i will use uh, the direct formula based question i will use that formula over here and then you can match your options 
one thing I would like to mention over here uh, that is i is equal to i naught cos square phi by 2 intensity and this uh, relation. So, we will use this relation fine and what is the value of uh, i? i is i naught by 4 is equal to i naught cos square phi by 2 fine easily you can say this solved. So, 1 by 4 is equal to cos square phi by 2 also I can write down 1 by 2 is equal to cos phi by 2 also I can write it down 1 by 2 means what pi by 6 that is cos 60 or pi by 3 is equal to why to write down like this no need to write down directly write down phi by 2. So, phi is equal to 2 pi by 3 ok phi is equal to 2 pi by 3. Let me allow to mention it over here phi is equal to sorry is equal to 2 pi by 3 fine. Now, use the formula for uh, phase difference and path difference that is phi is equal to 2 pi by 3 is equal to 2 pi upon lambda into delta x direct formula I mentioned and now from here delta x is equal to d sin theta or sin theta is equal to lambda by 3 d or theta is equal to sin inverse lambda by 3 d sorry 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 it should be yes yes no problem I can write it down like this or more clearly theta is equal to sin inverse lambda upon 3 d. So, theta is equal to sin inverse lambda upon 3 d that is c is the correct option. So, you can say easily that in this problem basically we use this theme equation. Then using this theme equation we calculated the value of phi and then part difference is equal to lambda upon 2 pi into phase difference direct putting the values and we can get the angular position of this point. One more fact I would like to mention over here angular fringe width theta that is also important fine. <coughs> Sometimes direct formula based questions are also important essential because obviously the examination body which is uh, accepting you as their student they want to check how cool you are is it like that moment you get a difficult question or a simple question you start jumping no not like that be cool fine so like this question number 8 a parallel monochromatic beam of light is incident normally on a narrow slit okay a diffraction pattern is formed be careful we are in the new world we are in different country that is diffraction not interference not Young's double slit. So, a diffraction pattern is formed on a screen placed perpendicular to the direction of the incident beam fine. At the first minima of the diffraction pattern the phase difference between the rays coming from the two edges of the slit is how much direct concept and uh, theoretical formula based question ok. So, let us try to find out the solution. I would like to draw a diagram just to give you the better clarity. Okay. This is O, this is B, B is basically this is small gapping that is 
slit width fine and then what is the situation uh, the minimum point is like here that is and then I am using a red color chalk to show you angle theta this is angle theta and uh, this value is this value is y ok and uh, this O to B is what? D. Fine. Now, how you will get the pattern? Now, in a diffraction pattern, one central maxima and both sides decreasing minima. So, the situation of this maxima is like this. This is half. Same thing will happen at this point. So, just mirror image of this, fine. So, I am not drawing that because uh, the pattern is somehow like this, like this. So, here I am just showing you the first half. Next, first half you can imagine, okay. <coughs> this portion is something which you can assume. Now, for this entire explanation, what I can write down? B theta is equal to lambda. Well known relation? B theta is equal to lambda or B y by d is equal to lambda fine. That is from here if you want to find out you can easily say y is equal to lambda d by b fine lambda d by b or this lambda is equal to y d by b ok. So, as such you can write it down as uh, y from this relation is equal to lambda d by b fine. So, now just try to find out uh, the, at the first minima of the direction pattern the phase difference between the rays how much phase difference is going to be. So, that way you can find out the phase difference is going to be this relation hold on fine. So, let me allow to mention this relation over here y is equal to lambda d by b. <coughs> now, remaining portion <coughs> what is the condition first minima. So, now we will move keeping in mind this instruction that is very important if you are not reading these type of things in this question definitely you are not going to attempt this question correctly. <coughs> So, I will write down do not worry on that part at first minima at first minima delta x is equal to y b by d at first minima delta x is equal to y b by d or delta x is equal to lambda fine that is why I mentioned this value over here. Now, from this I can write down now sorry now phi is equal to 2 pi upon lambda into delta x fine and what is the value of delta x lambda. So, replace the value of lambda for delta x over here. So, what will happen 
<coughs> if in the same relation I am replacing this value with red color, so let us use blue color to cancel it. So, what is the phase difference phi? It is 2 pi, which is this answer. <coughs> Fine. So, you can say the question is difficult, no not at all, the question is long, not at all, the formula is anyway different, we are different, simple formula, fine. <coughs> so, this way if you just keep on moving systematically, obviously you will not commit any mistake and moreover the most beautiful aspect is you will get the correct answer. <coughs> My simple suggestion to all of you watching this video. During solving the problems in examination hall, never ever rush, take your time. You are supposed to first qualify for JE advanced admission test. You are not there just to top, first ensure that at least you have performed that much number of questions that you are in, after that you can solve more questions. It should not be like that other way round. Here comes your question number 9. A narrow slip of width 1 mm is illuminated by monochromatic light of wavelength 600 nanometer. The distance between the first minima on either side of a screen at a distance of 2 mm is how much? Now, listen one of my suggestion. Stop this video and try yourself. Pause this video and try yourself. After some time, rerun the video, match your answer. Fine. Now, come back. Why I am saying so? Because in this question, whatever I explained in just previous question, you can say beautiful uh, application of that concept only. Fine. Let us try to translate this question. This is the screen and this distance is <coughs> capital D, fine and this is your narrow slit of D, fine, red color narrow slit, okay. Same pattern peak, second half again I am not drawing and from here just match this point. This is basically what? This is minima point. I think I should make it more clear. <coughs> yes, this is the first minima point. Okay dark point, I should mention it dark point. Again you can say it is y, no problem, fine and this angle is theta, this angle is theta. Now, <coughs> let me allow to write down few steps, just few steps because all these steps in the previous problem I explained. <coughs> Sin theta is equal to y by d. I hope you all are comfortable with this. So, dy by, sorry, dy by d, sorry, sorry, dy by d from this relation, minute change because capital D is going to remain fixed, it is constant. So, dy by d is equal to lambda, okay. Now, here the values are given in this manner that y is equal to lambda d by d. So, I can write it like the uh, this way, this is d, red color d, fine. So, y is equal to lambda d by red color small d. I hope now these three colors, the equation is clear. Now, delta x is equal to 2y, y, this way. So, 
let's use this relation over here y is equal to lambda d by d erase out this and then i can say that delta x is equal to 2y fine this implies that 2 lambda d upon d put the values every value is given lambda d small d directly you will get 2.4 mm fine so let me allow to write down just one line over here by putting the values fine answer is 2.44 mm so again these two questions based upon the same type of phenomena diffraction pattern my simple aspect is i am emphasizing on this fact that from wave optics young's double slit experiment and your this diffraction pattern concept is very very important fine and at any point of time you can be sure that out of these two concepts they will definitely ask two questions minimum two questions if you do not have faith in my words take previous year ITJ advanced question paper take a look yourself and then you will realize fine here comes your question number 10 now this question as you know <coughs> different type of questions they asked so this question comes in the category of what that is one or more correct option out of these four it may possible that either one is correct or more than one correct because second category of the questions is from this side let us read the question white light is used what is the meaning of white light combination of various wavelengths fine so indirectly I am saying not monochromatic white light is used to eliminate the two slits in a YDSE setup two slits means just take a look like this what is the setup this is let us say first then this is one slit this is one slit s1 and s2 fine symbolic diagram the separation between the slits is b b and the screen is at a distance small d small d is very very greater than b and d is very very greater than b at a point on the screen directly in front of one of the slits certain wavelengths are missing some of these missing wavelengths are now which point is directly in front of the screen that is slits on the screen this point and this point these are two points i hope the diagram is clear to all of you so now i will rub the diagram and will show you how you can calculate symbolically let me show you the diagram fine so if i am saying this distance from here to here it is y then this dis distance is y by 2 please do not forget this at p p means at a point half of this gapping so at p y is equal to b by 2 how I am writing like this it is given in the problem fine so y is equal to b by 2 now path difference delta x is equal to s2 p minus s1 p when I presented this topic in my regular shoot at that point of time I derived this result step by step so that is why I think if I am writing like this you will not find it difficult if you are regular with our meso study videos so delta x is equal to s2 p minus s1 p now let me allow to put the values over here <coughs> that is s2 p minus s1 p that is delta x delta x is equal to 
y b by d fine yes is equal to b square upon 2 d so path difference is b square upon 2 d so let's try to find out one result some of these missing wavelengths lambda is equal to b square upon 2 d as such nothing is matching it means we have to solve further okay no problem let's allow to mention this value over here that is <coughs> delta x is equal to delta x is equal to b square upon 2t fine wavelengths wave lens missing wavelengths missing for delta x is equal to lambda 1 by 2 yes 3 lambda 2 by 2 and so on fine so lambda 1 is equal to twice delta x now put the value of delta x this delta x value over here so it will give you b square upon d b square upon d a is correct next is for lambda 2 fine so lambda 2 is equal to 2 by 3 delta x it will give you b square it will give you b square upon 3d b square upon 3d that is b square upon 3d c is correct so a is correct and c is correct so these two options are correct that's why i place this question in the category of one or more than one correct options so this way students we completed one more episode of these five questions very soon yes we will come back with new story with the help of new characters five new characters till then keep revising keep meeting with these 10 people fine definitely i emphasized only on two aspects interference very important diffraction at most important now polarization is left still fine so in future when we'll come back we'll definitely uh, pick up those questions so till then take care of yourself keep revising have a nice time